Welcome back to Candy's Art World. I'm Candy, and today I'm going to be doing a goose. Um, I'm using Prismacolor color pencils and Arteza color pencils. I also use odorless mineral spirits, <laughs> excuse me, odorless mineral spirits to blend them out. Um, with color pencil, you have to work in light layers, lots and lots of light layers, and you have to wait until after your odorless mineral spirits dry to do the next layer. Um, but I had found this uh, picture of a goose, and it looked like it was saying, oh me, oh man, or oh my. Um, rubbing his little face with her little wings so I was like okay let's let's see if I can uh, do this one um, a main tip if you're doing an animal um, try to make sure that your pencil strokes go in the direction of the feathers or the fur or the fur whichever But I um, started with the background. Um, that way, that way it would be done. Um, so I knew how dark to make the goose feathers and stuff. The more color pencil you put down between um, layers of the um, odorless miner mineral spirits, the more vivid the color is going to be when you use the odorless mineral spirits. I used mixes of blues and light purples for the watery background. Or it could be the sky in the background. I used many, many different shades on the uh, feathers for the goose.
I was working on the uh, highlights and, and shadows of his of her face and neck to try to give her some dimension. Don't be afraid to turn your work if you need to get a better angle so your strokes are going the right direction. It'll just help you be able to achieve your, your goal a little bit easier. I hope you enjoyed watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Have a great day.